Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elder Thad, and as promised the last time, I am going to be going over the campaign creation process with you guys here. I'm actually getting to do a new map right now. It is a world map, and I am actually possibly going to be starting a new campaign for some friends. So I am going to... I think go over all of the creation process with you and hopefully give some tips and tricks that I've found out on the way and hopefully that helps you out whoever sees this I I don't want to just show it and not give any tips so I'll try to be giving tips that I want so first off uh, I'm gonna start with Wonder Draft here it's a great program for making world maps it's by the same people that make Dungeon Draft uh, I do have an older version, but it works very well for me. So right here, the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating the world map for the world. I don't know exactly which setting, so I'm probably going to do two. I'm just going to go over creating one right now, I think. Uh, so size, really a personal preference. It starts out, I think it was a 1080p rectangle size of pixels. Uh, that's not a not a bad ratio to stick with at first I don't think so we're gonna do that uh, try a template can't remember which uh, which theme I want to go with so I'll go okay and so it brings you up to this map which I believe is the right map that I was looking for so from here the cool thing about this tool is there is a like land generator that they use it's uh i think it's called a wizard yeah landmass wizard uh, you can select the basic type that you want it to be uh, uniform continent archipelago atoll shrink the screen a little bit recenter it i think sorry there we go but on the right over here, you can see uh, Uniform, Continent, Archipelago, Atoll, World, or Equal Rectangular. I don't really need to do a world right now. I'm going for a continent because I do have a world already created and in the process of being uh, utilized. So that's what I'm going to go with is a continent. Uh, roughness is smoothness on the edge. The detail is just how much detail is included. But we are going to start right here with, I'm just going to click generate. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of the way this looks, so you can just click generate again and it will generate a few different continent styles. And you can pick one that you like the look of. I'm looking for one that's a little more... Um, little more broken up in shape I don't want something that's super uniform like this is right here so I'm gonna just keep generating until I find something that I really like and this is a pretty good start I'm gonna go a little bit more and you just you can click generate and it generates the beginning of a map for you it doesn't generate the whole thing might increase uh, here's the roughness see what happens and I don't want it to be super broken up like a bunch of aisles like this is but you can lower the water level and see that's a really good start for me I'm looking for something that is going to be able to be geographically defined a little bit more this is potentially going to be like a greek theme so it's going to have different city states and having geographical barriers would be great for that so i'm going to try and specify i think that is just a little bit there it's a good level start with then you just go over here to these tools uh landmass brush you can 
use this to add lands. So I don't want to do that. I actually want to do water. And I am going to try to find... I guess I do want the land one. Um, but okay, so this can change the size of the cursor. And this will blast out the land a little bit. I don't want to do too much to this map because I actually like the way it looks but I'm just going to clean up the edges because I don't want anything to be unexplorable and right now I'm going to raise it up a little and you can fine tune it and just raise certain parts of the map but I really like the way this looks uh, the one thing it doesn't have is a lot of like interior water and lakes and that's what I would like to have so I'm going to make this smaller and just throw in a few lakes see I like the way that looks um, maybe I'll add one larger water source up here I'll fine tune it so it's a little bit longer Cool. So this is where you start. Add some bodies of water in. Uh, I usually don't include rivers. That's something you can include later on in the development process. You don't have to do all of the rivers and everything right now. It does help a little later on if you have an idea of where the lakes are to the oceans. Normally there's one river that flows out of a lake. It would be one output if there's any output at all. I don't think there will be. I think I might throw some mountains or stuff around here and make this one a crater. Same with these. You can use features like craters to add a little bit more interest and explain some of the geographical oddities that could appear. I, do, I think I do want to add a little island or another possible area over here here that's a that's a good design i think and a lot of this is going to be personal choice what you want for the goal but this campaign that i'm thinking of doing it's either going to be this or the other map is going to be more of a grasslands it's going to be flat more of a unified area that doesn't need as many breaks and spaces for possible city states and stuff like that so the way i'm doing it this create some good geographical spots that you can break it up into but what I'm going to do right now I'm going to save it real quick uh, I don't have a name yet so I'm going to just title it uh, Greek theme as a possible name and I'll save that just so I have it saved and you always want to save I have made multiple maps before and forgotten to save and that's not good it sucks you lose all your progress when you forget to save it and shut your computer down so save all the time frequently okay so we are moving on I am going to place some mountains I think let's figure I, I've gone with this theme for the other maps that I've made so I want to keep it all similarly designed I don't want to throw any weird design features that I didn't have on my other map so add a small mount range here and see I don't like the way that that second to last one landed in the lake so you can shrink the size of the mountains I am going to ring this and you can ring it geographically and then later on if your players decide to say go to this you can create passes that go through like the north side south side and you just create different areas for your players to explore and that's part of the fun of map making is you get to explore all of those different ideas 
And I really enjoy that. The fact that your players might have something in mind. And you have no idea what that's going to be. So you just have to wait and pray for the best. Uh, I'm going to add one large mound down here. I don't like the way that one looks. So I'm going to remove it. And one. And then add some in the background to sort of sig signify that it is very large in size so one large peak and from there you can decide placement of towns around there but right now I'm just focusing on mountains you want to develop it as you go along figure out what you might like to do uh, I am going to put mountains on this side over here so I feel like that would be a an interesting feature to have on this part of the map and it'll give if you do it similarly on all the edge portions it looks like it makes sense geographically if you think about in the real world mountains form with the tectonic plate shifts so they do tend to appear in pretty similar spots in the real world So you want to take that into consideration too. You don't want it to be completely unbelievable, but you also don't want to throw a ton of landmark obstacles and stuff in there for your players because they're not going to appreciate it as much. They might think it's cool for a little while, but if you have travel that takes months and months because they can't get anywhere due to the mountains, nobody's going to have a good time. And you don't, you don't want to be that person that drags everyone down because you wanted to include some features that may or may not make as much sense so I like to have them as an obstacle where need be but you don't want to place too many obstacles because it'll just drag the whole the whole campaign whole storyline down and you can always add features in later if you want if you really just decide that you haven't added enough you can always add more So, with that, I am going to decide where I might want some trees. Like this spot. Oh. Uh, see, I'm not actually familiar with too much of Greece's landscape, so I would like a forest to be present in part of the map, and that's what I am going to do is place a small swath of forest right here and it doesn't look too great right now it's a little weird and out of place because of the coloration on the map which I will show you in just a second how to fix so this what Underdraft does is it takes the color of whatever's underneath and makes that the color of the symbols that you put down unless it's a colored symbol. The ones I just did were white, so they take the color of the map. Uh, it's forested right over here. And like before, you don't want to have too much of any type. Here I'm putting forests because it's surrounded by water so there's a chance that it would be more lush and green. So after I do that, I will then come to the land. I think it's on the landmass brush. No, it's this one. And you can pick colors. I don't want a super vibrant green. Uh, but I do want a green, so I'll pick green, and you can shrink it and just color the trees individually. And then do a little bit of the ground around it, which will help signify that it's a little more of a lush area. And if you really want to step it up a notch, you can add it darker and darken up some of the trees 
and it does it at a gradient so if you hold the mouse it really darkens the spots I don't want it too dark uh, just adding a little bit of visual flavor and texture in here and do it here make that nice and green make that green you don't want it as green if we go through and touch it up make it a little more sickly looking uh, same with mountains you can add some white to them and make them look snow covered I think I'm only gonna do that here for this one and I do want some areas to look a little more green and you just go through and touch it up however you want and just make it how you want it to be so I think I'm gonna end it there for right now um, this is just making that you can then go to symbols and add some cities you want to think about historically cities would be placed more where like where rivers are where land masses meet if they're city states the larger castles and fortifications would be placed more alongside like the mountains with at the back to protect the rear or on a higher plateau use elevation to deter some forces that's what you want to take into account when you're placing cities in the maps you want to take into account what the best routes for trade would be so being broken up like this this map would have a lot of naval trade and naval influence in the campaign which I'm really excited to explore with my players but overall you you want to take that into consideration you can have keeps and stuff as outliers and that gives possible adventure points but you don't want to fill the map completely you do want to leave some areas open for exploration for your players because if you only let them go to the cities that they have visible to them it's going to be boring you're going to railroad the campaign you want to on move decide that there might be a small town there and send your players there and it's an enjoyable time for people for example the campaign i'm doing for my friends now we had a travel session and i wanted them to be able to enjoy a little break from the travel and i gave them a little small town and spontaneously they had to do a little mini game of catching some chickens which turned out to be really fun so you can do stuff like that and it's really nice for your players you get to include them and it sort of allows them to explore and find something that both of you didn't even know was there but yeah so i am going to save again and i'm gonna end it here i am hoping to do some more videos for you soon I had a great chance right now to do this, so I hope everyone has a great night. If you have more questions, just let me know. Please uh, like and follow. It helps me. And I will see you later.